Hello and welcome back. I'm going to get down to business as usual by creating a new ActionScript 3.0 document. And in a previous video, we went over writing comments, how to write code that gets ignored. It's not really code, it's just notes for ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my actions window by selecting frame one on layer one, tapping F9 to bring up my actions window. Now I'm going to write just a standard line comment with my name and what this is about so i'll just say let me actually put in a multi-line comment so i'm going to say how to use trace and i haven't showed you what trace is um but that's what i'm going to do in this video so we wrote comments and we know that comments do nothing well there is something i'm going to, I'm going to show you something a little i don't want to say more advanced but something that actually does something so basically what it's what it's called is the trace function. So I'm going to write out the word trace. I'm going to open up a parenthesis, start a double quote and type hello world. And I'll explain all this in just a second. And now that I've written this trace statement, I'm going to press control enter. And in my output, although there's nothing on my stage, my output window, which just popped up. So if you don't see it, it'll be window output. And it says hello world like I told it to now I'll explain in a minute why there's no double quotes but there we have hello world what we wrote out so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna write out numbers let's stick with numbers for now so how to use the trace function you just write the words trace or sorry the word trace open a parenthesis close the parenthesis and then end the line with a semicolon almost every single time you're going to write line of code in in action script you have to end the line with a semicolon so I'm gonna say trace the number one if I press enter it writes out one to my output um, and I can do this for multiple times so it goes from top to bottom so I'll just say one two three four five and run that and I get one two three four five cool right makes sense so I'm writing this out to the output and if I haven't said it already, the user, or sorry, the person playing your game will never ever see the output. The output is just for us. Um, later on, when we're trying to figure out, figure out problems in our code. So we wanna make sure our code's getting to a certain place or doing a certain thing. We can trace out results. So I'm gonna keep the trace nice and simple. So I did one, two, three, four, five. Um, cool thing with trace is you can actually do addition, subtraction, multiplication, all that stuff. So I do trace one plus one, um, one minus one, one times two and let's say one divided by two so just the standard symbols for addition is plus subtraction is minus uh, multiplication is star and or an asterisk and division is just a forward slash now remember if we did double forward slash it turns into a comment so we need a single forward slash and i'm going to go ahead and run this and actually sorry one divided by two not five run this and now you see we have one plus one which is two 1 minus 1, which is 0, 1 times 2, which is 2, and 1 divided by 2, which is 5. So that's how you do numbers. And you can string these numbers along. You can do super complicated math by um, using PEMDAS, you know, put parentheses around things. So I'm doing 1 plus 1 um, times 3, so it'll be 2 times 3 for that. Now it's 6. So you can play around with that, figure out how to do a couple math couple math problems um, but I'm gonna show you how to write words so if I were just to go ahead and trace out um, let's say my last name and press enter sorry semicolon to end and press control enter now you see I have a compiler error and this is just an error saying I did something wrong and basically how flash works if you want to write any kind of text and it's called a string so from now on any kind of text I'm gonna call a string um, and basically what it's saying is that, well, what you wrote there isn't text. It's trying to represent something. I'll explain that in a later. But basically, if you want to write any kind of text or string, you need to surround your, uh, your word or your words in double quotes. So I'm going to put double quotes around it. So it turns green. So I've opened it and I've closed it. So it's saying davis that's a string it's green i know it's a string now because it's green and i'll say it a million times green is a string text is string so i'm going to run it and now it says davis 
So I can actually go ahead and say, hello, my name is Mr. Davis. And then I'll copy this again. And I'll say, nice to meet you. And now if I run that saying, hello, my name is Mr. Davis, nice to meet you. And that's about it for the trace statement so far. Um, I'll get into some things that are a little more complicated later in the future once we learn about variables and we make sure we understand variables. You don't know variables yet. Maybe you have an idea of what they are. But for now, just know that you use the trace function to write out anything you want. You need to end a line of code in a semicolon. And uh, anytime you're using text, you need to surround it in double quotes.